Good day guys, Fikor here, hope everybody is doing fine. Now today I'm repairing this level sensor for the air suspension on my car. It's been uh, not responsive and not sending any signal whatsoever. So I'm gonna heat up around the cap. So it's kind of a translucent plastic cap. And then I just go around with a razor blade and it'll, it'll, just, it'll just pop off. Just cut around it. Well, we're gonna glue it afterwards, so uh, don't be afraid to just heat it up. Makes it easier to cut. Cut all the way around, like so, and uh, we're in. So here's the circuit board. Just gonna pop that out. And here it is. We can tell there's quite a bit of corrosion around these capacitors. And uh, even the trace underneath has a bit of corrosion. So we're gonna clean that up and see what what we have to work with. All right. So this capacitor barely holds on. And this is the VIAs I'm, ta I'm talking about. This VIA is totally corroded and it's not letting the current through. So it's, it, it's totally disconnected from one board to the other. I'm gonna scrape up a, a little bit of the uh, seal screen so I can access some good copper underneath. I'm just gonna put a jumper wire from one side of the board to the other one. See? Yeah, this capacitor is barely holding on. There's this VIA that's broken, it's not connecting, and this first pin is totally uh, disconnected as well. So we're just gonna start working on the capacitor. A little bit of cleanup. Scraping a little bit of the trace now because the via is definitely not working right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of flux. I'm gonna first solder this uh, first pin. Well, it's not the first pin, but it, you know, the first pin on the corner of that chip back to its pad. So I'll solder the capacitor back on. This pin is now connected to its pad as well. And I got a capacitor here. And then this little piece of wire that goes around and uh, onto the trace because that video was totally gone. So now I'll call these contact points that meets the pin inside the body of the sensor is gonna connect to everything that he just needs to connect to. Okay, now we just gotta put the board back in, connects to those pins, and now we just glue the cap back on. I chose hot glue because if I ever had to dismantle it again, it's gonna be easier, and it's gonna seal up properly anyways. No worries. In VCDS now I can tell that my sensor is working. As you can tell I am sitting on a slope so left side is higher. But uh, yeah instead of zero now I got a uh, correct uh, correct measurement. It's not adapted yet. I've not like run the setup and uh, with tape measure and all that stuff. I'll do that later. But um, yeah we can go into full code now. So, yeah, there we go. So no full code and this is level control number 34 uh, level control and uh, she's uh, perfectly fine now so the biggest problem with the car is not fixed this is fixed the air suspension also had the MMI screen was uh, that was bad but uh, that is fixed as well so anyways uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope uh, it helps someone especially with the part availability now a lot of shops are closed so you can't get new parts but uh, at least you know that uh, sometimes they are replaceable and they might be worth your time, especially if you're in quarantine. And uh, yeah, not, uh, nothing but time right now, so you can't get parts, but 
you could probably fix the sensor like this. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you don't like commenting, you can always uh, big, uh, put a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these uh, kind of uh, unusual fixes to cars. So anyways, you, you stay safe and you have a good day. So thanks for watching. So that's when we were stopped. Very low, uh, very low damping. And if we start to move, number is gonna go up. Here we go. Smooth ride. Despite the exhaust leaks.